Hi, this is Wendy Moran, and today we're going to work on a first grade lesson that involves adding two digit numbers together and getting a sum that's between 40 and 100. Up to this point, our uh, first graders have been adding two digit numbers together, and the sum has been 40 or less. So we're, we've seen some strategies we've uh, worked on them but now we are going to try to um, work on numbers where the sum is greater and today i'm going to work on specifically a strategy where we are using number bonds and place value chart all right so the objective is add a pair of two digit numbers when the ones digits have a sum less than or equal to 10. So we are doing our addition to 100. We're moving ahead. We've So far we've been adding up to 40. And we are using place value understanding and number bonds to help us. So before you start with this lesson, I would review the number bonds and how we use them to decompose two-digit numbers. Um, and this will help our students add the two-digit numbers when the ones digit have a sum less than or equal to 10. So review the number bonds and how we use them to break down a number into tens and ones. Uh, I'm giving the example here of 16, which can be broken down into tens, one ten and six ones. You can do 26, you can do 35, but always showing that we are breaking it down to tens and to ones. All right, the students have done this already, but this is a review to make sure that um, we are scaffolding for our students and allowing them to be successful in the next exercise, which is using the number bonds to actually add. So we have, we're gonna add, we have this example, 24 plus 13. So we have broken it down into number bonds, 24, 13. The yellow are the tens place. There's 20 there, 10 here. And then ones is the purple, which is the four and the three. I would color code it for our students to help them. Um, the grouping that the tens are going to be going together when we add and the ones are going, going to be going together when we add. I am connecting it to the place value chart, which is the tens in the ones. So we see we have two tens, so I'm putting two there, four ones, four goes there, one ten, three ones, and that's our 13 and our 24. A real connection between the number bonds and the place value chart. And with the color coding, I think it will help our students. Now, the next step is to add them together. So we still have our tens here. We had 20 plus 10, which is going to give us 30 or three tens. And we have our four plus our three, which is going to give us our seven. And our answer is going to be 37, three tens and seven ones. Now, the students have already done that, which is up to 40. So now we're taking, instead of 24, we're taking 54. Still doing the same thing where we are breaking it down into the tens place and the ones place, putting a little table here, the place value uh, chart to help them make the connection and using the color coding that the yellows are gonna go together, that's the tens place value and that the purple are the ones. But once again, we have 50, 10, over here, 110, 510s, 4 1s, 3 1s. Using those two methods, we're going to scaffold it, put it together to our total of 67, add it here, 50 plus 10 is 60, 4 plus 3 is 7, and we get 67. Now, if your students are still unclear or um, still need more practice, you can do it with 
54 and 23, constantly doing this scaffolding with the place value chart and the number bonds. Do at least one like this, where um, the one's place value is adding up to 10. So we have 26, which is 20 plus 6. 14 is 10 plus 4. Once again, two tens, six ones, one ten, four ones. Now we're adding them together, so we get 20 plus 10 equals my 30 or my three tens. Six plus four equals 10. That's a group of 10. So I have three tens and I have 10 ones. Showing the arrow over. We change it, it becomes 40 because we have one more group of 10. So if your students are successful in that uh, strategy with the place value, with the number of bonds, you can uh, work with them on another strategy that um, doesn't provide as much scaffolding and support, but is probably quicker. But taking the uh, numbers like 23 and 57, breaking down the add in to 3 and 20. All right, taking the 20, adding it to the 57 gives me 77. And I have three more. 77 add 3 gives me 80. We can also break it down another way, which is 20 plus 3. We have 57. We add the 3, which gets us to 60. 60 plus 20 equals 80. So these are um, next level strategy. If uh, you feel like your students are successful with using the number bonds and the place value chart. Feel free to practice with all of these with your students. Okay. And you can ask uh, your students in the end, like, did it help you to use the number bond? Did it help you to have the number bond and the place value chart together? Do you feel like you're ready to move to the next strategy, which is faster and a really more efficient? Um, but that's really uh, something that you can hear from your students. Okay, so thank you very much. And I'll see you. Bye bye.